All right, guys, so here's the answer key from last time. So if you have questions on anything, we can definitely talk about it. Let me know if you, there's something you didn't understand or you weren't able to figure out, um, shoot me an email. We're gonna start notes here in a second, um, section four two. Just a reminder that I am gone next Monday and Tuesday from school. Now, if we're virtual, it probably won't seem all that different, but if you're in person, um, you'll have a sub and um, kind of just work as, as if you're having a sub and then I'll be back Wednesday to answer questions and kind of go over things with you. So um, this is homework from last time. If you need to pause and check that, um, go ahead and do so. So we are starting matrix multiplication. So multiplying matrices here today. And I'm going to review with you some adding and subtracting and multiplying by a scalar, which is what we've done the last few days. So you notice here we're subtracting. So I need to do negative four minus a negative six. So um, just a reminder that you subtract the values in the same position. Now negative four minus a negative six is a little bit of a pain because of the double negatives. So it's gonna end up being a positive two. Zero minus seven, three minus one, seven minus a negative 10, so another one like that, 17. Negative eight minus zero, and then two minus nine. So just subtracting all those values in the same position. And then multiplying by a scalar, which is gonna be different than we did, are doing today. This, you just take this and multiply all of the parts by that negative four. So I'm multiplying everything by negative four. And so then there's our new matrix. Now I want to remind you guys about the size of a matrix. Size of the matrix is really important because um, we'll need that in what we're doing today. So remember, it goes rows across by columns up and down. So this is one, two rows across, and one, two, three columns down, two by three. And this is also a two by three. Now we could add these matrices together. But we're going to learn today is we actually can't multiply them, which is kind of strange because they're exactly the same size, but we can't actually multiply matrices that are um, that are a two by three and a two by three. And I'll explain that here in a second. So going down to this matrix multiplication, I'll explain um, this in a second. So when we do this, we're going to multiply. Um, so I'm multiplying in this case a two by two times a two by two. And this is acceptable. What we need to have happen is the middle values need to be the same. So these must be the same. So up here, a two by three times a two by three, we can't multiply those because those two are not the same. So what I mean by this is if I have rows by columns times rows by columns, the first one's columns need to match the second one's rows. So the C in the first one has to match the R in the second. And we'll, we'll practice that a little bit down here. So don't worry about that too much quite yet, but it just determines whether or not we can multiply them. So what we're gonna do here, and I would suggest having different color pens if you have them handy, um, because we're gonna be doing a lot of different um, combining of different values and it's probably going to be easier to have different color pens. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the rows in the first ma matrix by the columns in the second. And I'll show you what I mean. So the rows in the first matrix, so this row is gonna get multiplied by this column. So row one is multiplied by column one. Now, I'm gonna kind of write um, a in between matrix here to show you what we're doing, to kind of show you the work. So, kind of confusing here, and I'll try to maybe write this over here is that if I'm writing, multiplying the row by the column, the first value gets multiplied by the first value. So one times five. 
and then we add the next element but times the next one. So two times seven. So this is just the first term. So I'm gonna multiply those and then add them. And again, where this comes from is I'm multiplying row one by column one, and this ends up in row one, column one of our new matrix. So first element, oops, if I could spell element, times first element, second times second, and then we add them. <clears throat> So one times five plus two times seven. So this will end up being five plus 14. I'm kind of just showing my work here. So I'm gonna write the answer over here. So five plus 14 is gonna be 19. You can't see that. So that's my first term in my answer. And where the 19 came from is one times five plus two times seven. <clears throat> Now, we're gonna work our way across the top. So if I'm still in the top row, I'm still in the top row up here. So this now is gonna get multiplied by that. So first row now times the second column. So we're still in the first row, but now we're in the second column. So one times six, and then two times eight, and I'm gonna add them. So again, first times first, plus second times second. And this is gonna be six plus 16, so this is gonna be in 22. <clears throat> the next one then here, so now we're moving to the bottom row, so that means I'm working with the bottom row. So this three and four is gonna get multiplied by this first column. So row times the column, second row times the first column. So three times five plus four times seven. So 15 plus 28, which is gonna end up being 43. <clears throat> and then finally, this last one, last, this row, or times this column. So three times six plus four times eight. So 18 plus 32. So this ends up being 50. <clears throat> and again, we'll do more examples like this, but um, this is the gist of what we're doing today. So I'll try to, sh I'll show you guys more. You can always go rewatch this. And if you ever are like, yikes, yeah, she didn't explain that very well. I don't, I don't, I hope that I um, explain things well, but I, I know that, you know, I'm human. So I, if you ever have other questions, like if you Google multiply matrices, there's probably a hundred videos that come up that are probably quality. So always feel free to kind of check your outside sources as well. Like, you know, I'm not trying to say I'm the best teacher. Um, so there, I'm sure there's people out there that have a better way of explaining it than me. So this is just what I've seen that has worked well for me and my students in the past. So I want to show you guys kind of like how we can check if matrices can be multiplied together. So if my matrix A is a three by five and my matrix B is a five by one, I can multiply these two together because if I check three times five and then five times one, the middle numbers match. When the middle numbers match, that means that part is going to kind of be gone, kind of like up here. The middle numbers matched. The answer then is going to be what's left over. So the answer matrix is going to be a, a three by one. So this is the way we figure out the dimensions of the, the answer. So if those middle ones match, then we're like kind of stuck with our leftovers there. Now, if you look at this next one, this is kind of what I was talking about in the warm up. A four by two times a four by two, the middle numbers don't match, so we can't multiply. So that one doesn't work at all. And then finally, our last one here, one by four times a four by one, 
the middle numbers match. So I can multiply those and it ends up being a one by one as my answer. So that's gonna be some of your questions today in the book. It's just asking you what's gonna be the size of the, the matrix product and that's all they're asking you to do. So I'm gonna pause the, or stop the video right now. Um, I learned that when the videos are too long, they take forever to upload. So I'm gonna stop now and go to the backside, um, but you'll have to watch part two in a second.